Hey guys, if you're there, just um, pop me a message. I'm just doing the tweeting, etc., etc. Okay, it's a little bit loud for me. Let me see if this down a bit. Okay, I'm going to just jump into a game and it looks like the tweets have been sent. Hopefully, yes, maybe. Okay, I'm going to jump into the game. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Hi guys, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've been able to do a proper live stream. But if you uh, follow me anywhere, you know my internet is a bit of a problem. It still is a bit of a problem. Um, I've had phone calls with them today and they said they're going to try and unlimit me today just to try and see if they can find the problem. I've got a senior network engineer who's supposed to be helping me. But um, yeah, I'm sitting at home, a little bit sick, but I'm not doing much. Let me, I thought, let me uh, jump on you. So we're going to continue playing where we were with uh, Hacknet. So this is part three. If you guys haven't seen the other ones, you can always jump on and check those um, after the stream. Uh, but basically, I'm trying to get all the achievements I can in this game. Obviously, trying to finish it like 100%. I um, mean, we're about, I would guess, maybe about halfway in the game. Yeah, um, let's see who's here. My face is a bit cut off. Hey, it's the SA Geeks. Let me just adjust that a little bit. It's a bit better, I hope. <coughs> okay. So I'm going to just start jumping into the hack. I actually remember where we are in the story. Let me know if the music is too loud or if you guys can't hear me, anything like that. Okay. Because they have completed the required task, at least cursory look. Hopefully, this community's profile will remain a little sort of last for some time longer. There are no other copies. I'd expected to hear something about it being deleted from one of the hacker IRC channels. I idle in, but nothing so far. Hopefully, it will be a delayed reaction. Yada, 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 yada. Could you see if you could get it for me? What am I getting? Skipping a bit in the reading here. Meantime, there's something you could. Give me a hand with someone on the channels has been talking about a job they were investigating. Says he's got the RP server the files were taken from. Could you get for me just reply with this RP as additional text? I ran a simple track on him and it looks like the data will be there. We are linked. Okay. So we're going for this guy now. Let's do a probe. Okay, we've got a proxy. So first, we're going to jump onto one of these PCs and do some shells. Basically, zombie these PCs into our connection. It normally, only takes about four of these. So. Now we're going to probe the system. I'm going to overload it. Okay, then we're going to do an HTTP hack. Uh, I've got to remember what these controls are. Um, okay, let's do an SSH. Port 22. And then we're going to do an FTP bounce on port 21. Hey Warren, hey was it? How are you guys doing? Okay, did I do that FTP bounce? Oh, now I'm doing two. I didn't see you can do both. Okay, we're going to DC from this connection as soon as we pop those two. Oh, we need an SMTP as well. 
Okay. Yo, we're getting it a bit fine here, guys. And DC. Cool. Now I can do a port hack. Where's DC from you again? What do we have? So basically, this whole game is very much text based. Hey, how's the storm? Yada yada yada, people talking on IRC. Does everyone read these? You always pause it and check it out at a later stage. I'm not going to read everything. We are looking for Microsoft Docs. <laughs> okay, we need that IP address. So, um, what is it? 168-6182-246. Is that right? 168-6182-246. Okay, I'm just going to type it in so that we've got it in our console. See there's anything else? Yeah, JC. I think this is all just story. Whatever you want, then we'll do well. Thinking yada 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 yada. Blah 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 blah. Land time. Guys, let me know if the music is a little bit loud for you or not. It's fine. It's a little bit loud to me, but I'm not the ones trying to hear me speak and have music playing at the same time. And I'm hoping this music doesn't give me a copyright track because it is music that I've... Um, I do FTP bounce already. I'm playing with my PC, but it's also listed as NCS on my PC, so unless they've changed the rules again. Okay. RM star. Delete all. Traces. Okay, DC from. And then reply with additional text. And where is that IP address from earlier? My oh, goodness. Can I run a page up for a page down here? Yeah. But I can do that. Invite to the group is sought after in some circles. What are you talking about, child? Ah, I clicked on the wrong email. Okay, so it looks like we're getting updated to another group, guys. Woohoo! The CAC group is an invite-only group of talented hackers and digital security experts. We offer substantial knowledge and resources to exceptional individuals to create a community of shared learning, information, and progress. A member of our group has extended an invitation for you to join our organization as administrative details will require a small demonstration of your abilities and knowledge in order for you to accept the group. Uh, to continue, please reply to this email with a password you will find associated with your name on one of our test servers. If you have any difficulties, we recommend you consult the Network Education Archives. Okay, so do I have that listed somewhere? Okay, so that looks like it might be helpful, like just in terms of extra knowledge later. Storm, be brutally honest with me. Tell me what you want to know, what you want to say. Shell to these other computers. And the shell to this one and to this one.
Okay, foul detected. Um, you are going to have to jump around here because firewalls require a particular type of analysis. Files have been around for you for a very long time in computer security most often. No music? What? I bumped it up. Files have been around for a long time. Modern yada yada. In the tin, in the situation, the file solution will need to be provided before an unsyndicated login attempt can be attempted effectively. Meaning that any known password cracking software will be useless while the file is active. Okay, the firewall complexity can be examined with the analyze command. Running the analyze command multiple times will automatically detect patterns in the response data headers and will eliminate characters in can guarantee are not part of the correct firewall. Once the potential solution is found, the command solve firewall solution can be used to attempt to syndicate. What? <laughs> okay, that sounds interesting. Let's see how that goes. So that means what we need to do is say analyze. I think this idea is to actually try to find um, the most the common number. So this would be something like K A E N. That is an R. K R A N. It's all failed. Okay, this is what's changed. Thanks, SA Geeks. Thanks for popping in. Okay. So, this is going to make me look like a complete noob. Anyone else want to reread those commands? I'm just going to analyze again until we find it. K R A E N. Solution incorrect length too few characters solved incorrect bypass sequence. K R A K E. What the heck is going on here? K E N. Kraken. <laughs> okay, so it is that amount. This is just another analyze. Still not using hearing the music storm. Let's see. Let's see what's happening here. Okay, so I'm just gonna adjust the music a bit. Let's see. I hope my devices haven't changed. Um, the audio, huh? Okay. I'm just gonna put it onto this guy. Here's the music. Here's the music song. You hear it now? Turn it down a bit. What do you say? Okay, for some funny reason it was on default device and wasn't finding anything. <laughs> We're back. The music is definitely jumping up and down now. So let me know if it's too loud.
now I'm getting feedback in my ears, but that might be because I've got the music too low. Okay, let's solve this thing. So, according to what I'm seeing, it's K R A K E N. So we've tried that. Ah, there we go. It's indicated we got it right there. Look at that. Look at that. Nice, guys. Nice. So now we're going to go and say SMTP uh, 25. Pop that open. And then we're going to do an FTP bounce 21. And I just figured out that you can run the commands at the same time, so that's going to help for later, I'm sure. And we're going to port act straight after it. So this one solves. Good, done. Continue to link server to advance to the next stage of the server. Scan to associated server. So are in here for logs. Jump across here. Proxy detected. Okay. Have a look at this boy. SSH on port 22. It's like a game that I have to get back into the whole um, like mindset of really. file system, shall we? RC logs, these are always just random story things. Test continue. Continue to another link server, really? Okay, I'm just gonna skim those logs quickly. nonsensical stuff too large still okay let's bring it down a bit yo these people can talk eh Okay, I don't think there's going to be anything here, let's just keep scanning. Um, let's open up the log directory. Put in RM star, get rid of our traces. And while that happens, connect here. Um, can we analyze at the same time? We can, cool. <laughs> the 
this one looks like it's gonna have a very similar um, thing. What do we have? We have K, U, N, K, K, A. Dan San, K, SMTP, um, Port 25, we have SSH, same time. And port 22 and an FTP bounce on port 21 you're going to do a DC straight after this hey thought we did no we did okay DC bah now we reconnect because now everything's open. What? Okay, now we're going to port hack. Ugh. Silly me. Silly me and my typing. Everything's done. Great. Okay, we file system. Log. Gift. SCP. Web server. So we're downloading that to our own. Transfer complete. Nice invitation. Um, it's actually going to SCP that invitation to our own PC, so we can check it out later. Nothing there. Nothing there. RM star and then DC. Thanks for coming, son. Now, we got our own file system. Why would I probe on PC? Why would I? Um, and the password is just yeah, A B X zero seven C C nine. Oopsie, clicking on the wrong thing there. Sorry about that. Now what do we do? Do we just reply with their password? Nice, look at that. They affirm me guys, they want to make me feel good about myself. Well done, passing the automated test, not everyone manages. Which kind of makes you think, why were they invited to the first place really? So, you're on to round two, which means I get to make something up which means something fun. I got something good in mind for you. Shouldn't be too easy either. I want you to break into the CFC server and find me the 11 secret herbs and spices. <laughs> if you can't get hold of the list and upload it to the CEC public drop server, I'd be more than happy to let you in if I can do that. Okay. So I need this guy first. And then this is our target. Whoa, white screen of death, what the heck? Uh, CFC. Really? What's going on here? Behind two minutes, yeah. Um, I was saying we saw when you went around that the internet that I have is still a bit up and down. So I'm kind of streaming to see how this works out. So that's why there would be a bit of delay. It just helps in terms of my upload. And um, yeah, hey, hey Thorn, how's it? Welcome. Welcome. Okay, so this is the web server. Nice, nice. It's the home. Let's see what their systems. Oh, this is going to be easy. Really? Web server on port 80. And then SMTP traffic on port 25. Down sign. Uh, drop that in to their system, drop that in, port hack straight in. Should we change that? Anyone have some fun with the web server? I could probably do some stuff. Just 
for the fun of it. Web admins, remember the server is exclusively for front end content. All company files can be hosted on the more secure mainframe and internal servers. This server maintains a link back to the mainframe for updating maintenance. Do not modify this configuration. Okay, so that's actually just saying that if I want what I want, I'm probably gonna have to do a scan to go across. We can edit this. If I really wanted to, I could. But that's not why we're here. I can make the web server say other stuff if you guys really wanted to. But we're here to find their secret spices. Let's get them secret spices. Ooh, okay, so this one actually needs a little bit more a little more challenging. FTP bounce. Um, why do I always default to FTP bounce? Probably because it's super insecure. Can we do an SSH? Can we do that at the same time? Cool. And then let's do SS SMTP. SMTP 25. Import hack. I think there's a challenge to try to get this time all the way down. Let's try something. We're just gonna wait for this thing to count down. I think there's one where you have to like literally get it down on the wire. I don't know what happens if we get caught, so this must be an adventure as well. Let's go see if we can find that stuff. Training files, new employee, welcome email, 11 secrets, well that's the one we want. Welcome to the family, Colonel's Food Corner offers great careers, exciting yet a team member in the last 12% of employee discount cards management. Many new employees will continue question the secret formula out of curiosity or because they wish more involved in the company. Unfortunately the formula is far too important to give out to all workers, especially given recent employee retention rates. Oh, so that sucks. Uh, oh, there's another server. So we're probably going to scan for that server just now. This is just like an intranet version of everything it seems. Just a scan. There's the real server, the one we probably want. I was all excited, I saw 11 spices and herbs and I thought, hey, we got this. Ah, oh, man. Possibly the most annoying part of this thing is doing these firewall, firewall checks. And he took six passes. Solve C H I really C K E N. That is that's 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 the solve. The solve is chicken. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Why do you have an SSP server floating on every PC? <laughs> Thorn, thanks for dropping in. What are you going to go play? Would have been nice to know. But anyway, you're gone. 
Storm, I thought I saw you playing some BBD. I thought you were going to go live yourself. We're only going to play later this evening. Bin. Sis. Okay, so there must be something within these files. Oh, gosh, it's a file. PNG, yada yada yada. Oh, heck, okay. Okay, we're gonna DC from this. I'm gonna try this. So let's see if this does something. Then you're gonna connect back to it. I just wanna see what happens if I just try get Oh, BSOD. That's quite interesting. Sure. Okay. Rebooting back in. I don't know what that does. It's going to be a first check. back on but being traced probably probably means something somewhere else this is my own PC I want to connect to this car it's a big file system seasoning mix orders need to be separated to two separate companies which provide half of the mix New Mexico facility combines spices one to six Local Kentucky facility mixes remaining spices. The two separate deliveries should be mixed at the distribution HQ and placed in unmarked white bags for franchise level distribution. Prepared bags for the seasoning mix are sent to franchise where it is combined with the flour, powdered egg, dried milk, and salt. This ensures no digital copies of the secret recipe are ever distributed in their entireties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so that's the formula. Um, let's see what happens. What's the actual? If you want to break into the find me eleven secret herbs or spices, if you can get hold of the list and upload it. Okay. So he wants me to upload this, but it's actually two files. Okay, so let's just download those both. Seasoning, auto placement, placement, part one. Down at both. Uh, CD log file. CD log file. Doesn't work that way. Okay. Just got logs. Got an RM. Let's drop these. Find that um, public folder. You will authenticate if open file uploading to the server. Use the upload local command to upload files. Reminder files downloaded with the to the home or bin for execution uploads from where their path proceeds, such as. Okay, so upload, and it's a uh, seasoning, was it, what, what was it the download name? 
Uh, don't actually have to go and say home. I do. Okay. So it's going to be upload space home. And then it's going to be seasoning. Part one. And then part two. So those are the two files. Transfer complete. Transfer complete. Cool. So now we're going to go back to this chap and say reply send. Nice. Okay. So we actually finally got that one. Nice one. I've actually had to dig around on the mainframe before a while ago and couldn't find it. Process tracking it down. That's quite the entrance you've made for yourself. I'll take the opportunity to formally welcome you to the CESC. Everyone here knows what they're doing, at least to some extent. So you should feel right at home if you found that last job easy. <clears throat> I've attached your new login details to the hub server. From there, you can pick up contracts, download the new code, and generally just use it as a home base. I'll stay in touch. Go pick yourself up some new programs from the stash on the con congratulations present. Okay. So there's a server. There's a server. There's a server. There's a server. Wow. Okay. So that's our password. And that's links. Cool. So what's on this one? Watch here, watch here, watch here, watch here, watch here, nothing. Death Row Database template. First name, last name, record number. Okay, that's an SQL database drop. I recommend you download a copy of the template text, edit it locally, then rename it to fit the scheme before inserting it into the database. Because you likely want to replace all of the wildcards in the template file, you should use the quick replace shortcuts. Number one, flag the file as active in your operating system. The easiest way to do that is reading it with the cat command. Okay. This is this is probably going to be important. Replace without adding in the file name. Replace first name John. Continue step two until the file looks the way you want it. Rename the file. Upload the file. Make sure that you're okay. We're definitely gonna have to come back to that somehow. That sounds interesting. So we basically have to download a copy of that file, and then you can use something to replace file stuff a couple of times. Rename the file, upload the file into the database, connect to the remote command, upload home. Yeah. Make sure that the you know, show you in the folder that you want to upload to. Yeah. Okay. So it's SCP, the template, shall we? And let's rename the file to that, okay. That's probably going to come up soon. Now we're getting an SQL, SCP, or SQL. Mem corruptor. So SCP, that should be in the right file now, so it's SCP SQL. I'm playing around with SQL files, this is going to be very interesting. Corruption Injector is a targeted exploit for public facing SQL ports. Default port is 1433 to inject a table entry that, when read, causes a memory corruption error in the database. Then immediately queries said table, causing the immediate SQL database crash and call button. This will simply allow otherwise unauthorized traffic on the SQL server port before the target OS cleans up the dying SQL connection and restarts the services. The program, when in display mode, will output its operational status at the top. Oh goodness, that's going to be interesting. We've already got a web server. Yeah. Yeah, every one of those. I do not have a sequencer. <coughs> I 
themes. This is interesting. I think I want to try something. Because I think there's actually something to do with these somewhere else. Prime the logs out. Scan the network, anything interesting? Nope, okay. It's this one. Let's have upload server. That's our hub. Can I just log in straight? No. Can I probe the server? Now we're getting really dangerous these eggs. Solve um, Z six A D L W. Cool. Okay, and let's um, shell some stuff. Shell and shell uh, back to this chappy. Exit. Load alert, please. Have to stay connected the whole time. That's very interesting. Okay. Okay, web port 80, um, SMTP 25, SSH, I don't think we can do that as well, SSH 22, we're running out of RAM there, but, okay, come on, there we go, FTP 21, Why would I run two at the same time? That's silly. My home fault. Come on, one of these just needs to solve. Hurry up. There you go. I did that whole stressful hack for nothing. <laughs> There's nothing on the server, man. It's all just log files. All just log files. Okay, well that sucks. <clears throat> okay, I want to try to see if we can find out what's going on with the achievements because I'm fairly certain there was an achievement doing something with uh, dealing with themes and we just downloaded one. Okay, so we've got to the wire, so we did that disconnect route earlier. Um, part of those two groups, and we've got that one. So what do we have? Root, compare the bits final request, uh, point clicker, that's a complicated one, that's also part of that. Run clock exe, okay, so there's a theme switcher one. Run the theme switcher, so now if I think I know what that is, so let's see if we can do that quickly. Our own file system and then we should have a theme 
yeah, so let's see what happens. Um, what would the rename command be? Move, I think, X server to. Uh, let's just go with X dash server dot old. That work. Nice. Okay, then we're gonna say move. Dot sys. But the name currently is CES. Ah, okay, it's just, just the, the complicated way. It's MV CSC to H server. Server dot sys like that. Okay. I don't know if I have to bounce it or something. This is basically a crash. I'm trying to force. Yeah. I'm rebooting it via BSOD. So I'm trying to see if that X server thing does anything. Or a theme. It'd be kind of weird if I literally have to change the game for something like that. I don't think so. Hey, look at that. I knew the answer. Yeah, boy. Got that fancy new theme running. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, yeah, baby. It's actually quite a nice one. That was a clever guess to find. That didn't change anything. That was weird. I don't know what happened there. Sorry, guys. Um, I DC'd for a bit, but I did keep playing. We did a whole bunch of other contracts, but obviously you're not seeing that. So, yeah, I'm just joining back in to say I'm calling it an evening because I need to go eat some food. Uh, we did a couple of contracts. It was fun times. Again, I'm sorry that uh, that didn't seem to work for you guys. Um, yeah, click like. I will figure out what's going on with this delay because this is obviously a bit too much. You guys were like two minutes behind or something. So, yeah, that's a bit that's a bit bad yeah so thanks for coming click like I'll see you guys around bye